Well, we kind of had a little thing we did on this album that I thought was cool. Uh, I told all the guys when we entered the studio, I, I, I mentioned to everybody, let's forget about all the albums. This is like we're writing the first Soulfly album right now. You know, so that was kind of like the mentality. That's how we brought all the groove back, all the tribal elements back to this record again. But it feels fresh, feels new. It doesn't feel um, that. Does it feel like we're repeating something that's already done? Because it's it's being created right now, you know. And I think I think that was cool. And I I, I don't know. Uh, it worked for this record for some reason, you know. Um, I think the the musicians also we have somebody like people like Mark Rizzo is a great guitar player. Mike is a great bass player. You know, Zion's reaching his his top right now, you know, and. Uh, we have a really great uh, producer, Josh Wilbur, you know, which has like done some really classic albums. They won Grammys and stuff, you know, um, and it's like you know, has done Megadeth and Lamb of God and Gojira. But the cool thing about Josh is when he entered to make this record, he's like, "All right, Max, I can't lie to you. I'm gonna make this album as a fan, not as a producer." I was like, "Oh man, I was hoping you'd be the producer." <laughs> not a fan but it was cool because he was pushing for groove tribal songs I was pushing for fast crazy songs and together is what's on the album that's why you know but uh, I, I don't know I guess like it gets harder and harder like even even the name and I think you know Ritual was a, was a cool name and um, it's not the most original name but it, it works you know it's a good word you know it's a, it's a strong word um it gets harder through the years to do, to, to keep it fresh as you can, but we just gotta keep struggling, you know, and I think, to me, I think a lot, to, uh, has a lot to do with my lifestyle, because my lifestyle has not really changed much from when I did Chaos AD to now, it's pretty much the same, so I'm not a, a huge trillionaire, you know, I don't fly in private jets and shit like that, which I think can be sometimes bad, when you get all that money, you kind of forget to get, you don't know how to get angry anymore. You know, I'm going to get angry because the Wi-Fi on the plane is not working, you know. That's not really an excuse, man, you know. You can't use that as an excuse. Um, we still fly with all the, 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 the crew on coach, which I think is great. Because I, I hate to see myself, like just me on first class and have everybody else in the back feels kind of guilty you know like bad I'd rather go there party with them and destroy the back of the airplane and get wild with them it's more fun you know so I think because we don't have these kind of luxuries we're still grounded you know and still hungry Oh, I'm gonna 